Hello everyone, this is Jackie the Ambassador and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I focus on fashion, lifestyle and inspiration. Inspiration Mondays, Lifestyle Wednesdays and Fashion Fridays. So if you're interested in any of those, please subscribe to my channel. Well, today is Inspiration Monday and I have a video for you and it's called Father Forgive Them. My scripture reference is Luke 23, verse 34. So let's get into it. Luke, one of the synoptic gospels, writes in chapter 23, his account of the crucifixion of Jesus. In verse 34, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. But looking back to verse 33, it says, And when they were come, to the place which is called Calvary, they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. When you come to a place in God's sense, you can expect to be crucified in some way or the other. Sometimes you will be lied on, mistreated, abused, overlooked, rejected, talked about, discriminated against, spat upon, misunderstood or, or unpopular. You might be like Stephen, stoned for the gospel of Jesus Christ, or like John, dipped in hot tar three times. But can I tell you, whatever you go through in God, it is not personal, but it's purposeful. Be like Mary, be it unto me, according to your will, because we know that trouble don't last always and if we're in it we're gonna win it so deal with the process because the process is a part of the deal your present situation or circumstance or condition is not the conclusion don't put a full stop just yet put a comma because if god is in the vessel you will smile at that storm for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, according to 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, or Isaiah 54 and 7. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Isaiah 54 and 8 says, It a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, says the Lord, thy Redeemer. If you continue to walk with God, you will arrive up to Calvary. Remember, Calvary is a hill, so you will go up to Calvary. What are you prepared to give up, to go up? They made the mistake and they took Jesus to Calvary. Calvary means the skull or the head. We know that the skull is the strength of the head. We, like Jesus, are the head and not the tail. We, like, we are above and not beneath. It is at Calvary where you are strengthened, revitalized, rejuvenated, mended, and put back together again. The porter wants to put us back together again. God is the shifter and the lifter. Hannah went to bed in sorrow, but she woke up in joy. It was at Calvary where they crucified Jesus. When they thought that it was death, it was in fact birth. When, it, when they thought that it was the end, it was in fact just the beginning because divine purpose prevailed. When he looked at the thieves on the left and on the right, they represented you and I. 
He had us on his mind, saints. It reminded him of the bitter cup that he must drink. He said to himself, of himself, greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live, says God in John 2, John 11, verse 25. Maybe if it had been somewhere other than Calvary, he probably would have done what he did in Luke 4 and 30 when they led him to the brink of the hill to of the city to overthrow him headlong. He escaped and he ran a walk through the midst of them and went his way. But they made the mistake big mistake, and they led him to Calvary. At Calvary, he regained strength. He regained focus, and he remembered what it was that he had to do. When you experience Calvary, you can say like Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The haters meant it for evil, but God used it for my promotion. So the next time the enemy shows up, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Not until we get to the place where we can say, Father, forgive them. Are we ready for the glory of God? For I reckoned that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, according to Romans 8 and 18. It's not what you go through, but what you bounce back from. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So next time the haters come, and next time you are, sick, you are faced with circumstances beyond your control, look up to the hills from whence cometh your help, for your help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Father, forgive them. Hold no grudge. Hold nothing against them. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. God bless you. I hope that this word would have brought some clarity to whatever you're going through. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Please give me a thumbs up and like my video and subscribe to my channel. God bless you. And until next time, this is The Ambassador. Thanks for watching.